So we've applied a bunch of master pages to various pages in our document, and we can tell that they are master pages, not only by viewing the master page letter in the pages panel, but if we zoom in here, and I'll hit control two on my keyboard, and you look really closely, that the bounding box to each one of these objects is a dotted line. And a dotted line, you guessed it, represents that this is a master page item. So what if we want to come in here and move this or edit it? We can't necessarily do that by default as a safety guard to InDesign and your document to ensure that you don't unintentionally mess up any master page item, but InDesign does contain a keyboard shortcut which will allow you to override any master page item on your page. And that is to hit shift and control and click on that document. And now that we've hit shift and control click, we can see that it is now a regular container for the CBRE logo. So now if I want to move this or resize it for this page, I can easily do that. Now, what if I've made an edit to this master page item or created the override and I want to go ahead and switch it back to uh, being a master page item? Well, thankfully, here in InDesign, it contains um, an option in the flyout menu to remove the selected overrides for the item that I have selected. So I want to make sure I have that item selected. And if I select that option to remove the selected override, we'll see that it changes this back to whatever the master page reflects. And I know that because I get this dotted line. So it's not always the best practice to do overrides, but if you're working in a multi-page document where you know you're going to be have images or page number or text over and over again, then sometimes it's applicable to do that. So again, just to recap, you hit Control, Shift, click on your keyboard on any of those items to create an override. Now, another thing that we can do, you may have noticed that if I come to, let's say page 51 and come out to the flyout menu, here I can override all master page items on that specific page. So if I select that, now the dotted lines are removed around the containers and I can remove or edit any page on this item without having an effect on any other page in my document. And if I come in and highlight and select those, come out to the flyout menu, remove selected item overrides to jump that back to the master.